it's Nicole. Uh, today's video is going to be a little different from my usual. Um, today's video is going to be a comparison of the Heather's Hughes Hollow Their Top Coats. So I saw that this top coat recently um, won third place for best hollow top coat in the Indie Swatch Awards. And I thought it would be fun since I own all of them that to compare all of them together in case anyone was curious. So I did purchase all of these with my own money. I do swatch for the brand Heather's Hughes, but these I purchased. Um, and another disclaimer, I did notice when I was just checking the website to see um, how much these actually cost each, that this one, Hollow There Clear, is no longer available. So I guess this one got discontinued. So there is that. I'm still going to swatch it because I don't know. I want to. I wanted to do this because I bought all of these and I haven't really used them yet other than swatching the tops of the bottles. I have, it's all I've done so far. So I want to do a quick comparison. So, so Hollow Their Linear is a linear holographic top coat. Oh, and also excuse my nails. I took off my extensions on this hand and I didn't take all the gel off yet. So they look kind of crazy. So yeah, just a note for that before anyone asks about that one. So yeah, so Hollow Their Linear, you can see it's a linear holographic. I've got on my hollow friendly lighting so you can see the hollow. And then we have Hollow Their Scattered. And this is a, um, a micro glitter with hollow dust. So all of these are $8 for 15 ml bottles. And these all, I, on the website, it says that they comes in her quick dry top coat base, but I found that they do dry just a tiny bit dull, so you will want top coat on top of these like most. I have yet to come across a hollow topper that you didn't need to put top coat on. But uh, yeah, so this is Hollow Their Flakes, and this is just Flakes, holographic scattered. And Hollow They're Clear. So this one, if I'm remembering the description right, it is um, in the Heather Hughes Quick Dry Top Coat formula with a clear micro glitter. And it's kind of hard to see in the bottle. In the bottle, it looks very iridescent. Let's bring you up nice and close. If you can hear snoring in the background, that is my cat, Sammy. He is sleeping right here next to me, so if you hear snoring, that's him. Let me just make sure I don't have any. So before I put the polish back in there, I just wipe it off on a piece of paper real quick to make sure that I don't get the nail polish in here. Oh, and I forgot to mention the black polish on here is Heather's Hue Shadow. It's her one coat black. It is my go-to black cream. So I own like a ton of toppers that I don't use. And this, I kind of bought these for the completionism. Because like I, I don't know, Heather's Hue is probably my favorite indie brand. I, I don't want to pick favorites, but if I was going to be honest, I would say that, yeah, Heather Hughes is my favorite indie brand. I own um, a lot <laughs> of her polishes. And next up is Hollow Their Flakes. So again, these are in the Heather's Hughes top coat formula, but I don't find that these don't sink or anything in the bottle. I said that they don't sink or anything, but I did notice that Hollow There Clear does tend to, um, the glitters do tend to sink a little. like it, they separate a bit more from the base than the other ones. So 
So like I mentioned, these do dry down dull. This is how they look after a few minutes of dry time without adding top coat. I, I smudged this one. Hey, voiceover Nicole here. So now I'm going to be applying my glossy top coat. I'm using the KB Shimmer Clearly on Top, which is my current favorite top coat. Um, so I did find that the Hollow There Clear and Hollow There Scattered did dry down slightly textured. Scattered with one coat of top coat smoothed out perfectly. I found that Hollow There Clear, after a few hours after applying top coat, it did seem like the glitters were kind of sucking in the top coat so I had to apply another layer of top coat on top of that to get it to have like a perfectly smooth finish. So just a heads up there. And just look at that. So yeah, in my personal opinion, I like the scattered and the linear the most. I feel like the flakes are holographic, but they're not as holographic. But it gives a nice scattered look on the nail. So depending on what look you are going for will depend on which one you want to purchase. And here are all four toppers over my nails. And I used, again, the Heather Hughes One Coat Black Shadow. Um, so thanks for watching. I'm sorry I don't have daylight photos for these. Uh, when I recorded this video, it was actually snowing and I did not want to go outside. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!